I got a letter from the bank today. They said it's been three months and you failed to pay. I didn't know what to do. What could I do? I had no clue. So I called up the doctor on the telephone. I said, doctor, I got this serious pain. And the doctor said, oh no, there's an epidemic. I said, doctor, doctor, I got a bad case. And the doctor said, let's get that erased. You take your promissory note, the red pill. You take the letter from the debt collector saying this is from a debt collector. And you produce a letter saying impossible. Simply impossible. Say that this is not a promissory note. This is a draft. Say that this is not a promissory note. This is a negotiable instrument. I never agreed to pay on a negotiable instrument. That instrument contains conditions, transferabilities, and assignments. And I authorized and negotiated those conditions. They will say you're crazy and we go on the court. You say if we go to court, I will tell the judge. You have no jurisdiction in this venue. You cannot use the speedy foreclosure process to foreclose on a negotiable instrument of draft. There is no provision in law, so I do hereby challenge the jurisdiction of the opposing party. And I challenge, as is my right, the jurisdiction of this court. Because who's ever heard of foreclosing on a draft? Who's ever heard of foreclosing on a negotiable instrument? You can't foreclose on a draft. You can't foreclose a negotiable instrument. Stop letting them call it a promissory note and sending you letters talking about a promise to pay. You send them back a letter saying, I don't think so. No way. I got nothing to say. Nothing to pay. I don't think so. No way. You're right, Mr. Creditor, to remain silent. Note. They're sending you letters talking about a promise to pay. You send them back a letter saying, I don't think so. No way. I got nothing to say. Nothing to pay. I don't think so. No way. I got nothing to say. Nothing to pay. I don't think so. No way. I'm going to exercise your right, Mr. Creditor, to remain silent. 